Good afternoon everybody. Today I am back here at Stalagluf 3 in Jagan, Poland. And I'm very pleased to say that I have finished the painting of the names of Tunnel Harry. I'll just take you back down to the tunnel now and show you the names which I have completed. Very good weather here today. Perfect. We've had a bit of rain, but it's cleared up nicely and uh, it's all turned out very well down here. Yeah, so uh, it's been quite a bit of work. It's taken me uh, two weeks to to complete the job, just over two weeks I would say. And it's all gone very, very well. Um, it's a good thing to do as, you know, it's an important memorial, the Great Escape Memorial. And I'm very, very pleased to have done this and especially finding the nice way of doing it with the uh, sponge board, which has made it so much easier. So I'll just cast over the names here. New Zealanders, South Africans, just bring it up close there for you. Uh, just run it backwards along the line here. British names. Uh, British names here. I've even got a small Spitfire with me today, which I'm very pleased to have. Nice little Spitfire. Douglas Bader version right there. Very fitting for the Great Escape as Roger Bushell was a Spitfire pilot. And yeah, that, that was the last tablet I painted right there, the uh memory tablet and yeah very very good the great escape 24th 25th 3rd month 1944 okay. And the Australian names here. The Canadians, Greek, and Norwegians, and the Dutchmen there. The entrance here, Tunnel Harry, right there. Okay. So I'll just take you back over the names just slowly, just so you can have a good look at them right there. Okay. Here. So the prized Spitfire tablet right there. Well, that's a nice shot right there, isn't it? The forest in the background, the small candle, and the Spitfire. Absolutely spot on. Okay. So, bring this back up. The Polish names here. Right there. And Lithuanian, French, Bernard Scheidhauer. Start of the British names here. Ah, uh, Bushel, as you all know, Roger Joyce Bushel.
Tom Kirby Green. Arnold Christensen, Johnny Poorhair, Michael Murray Shand, Lennon Henry Trent, South Africans there, Stevens, McCarr, Gals. Okay. Looks very, very nice when the granite's cleaned up and the Names are all painted nicely. The sponge, the sponge board has been such an asset to me. It's made my life so easy doing this job. Really fantastic. No problem whatsoever. You know, anybody can do this. You know, really superb. Okay. Back to the Spitfire again. It's probably the best look I can well, it's one of the best looks I can get of the Spitfire. Real classic the Spitfire, especially when it comes to the great escape. There you go. Very nice. Okay, Australia. John Edwin Ashley Williams there. James, James Wernham. In fact, I've got a video depicting his spirit in the sky. You'll see that in a cloud. Quite amazing. Quite amazing. In fact, it's just... His name is, in fact, just above uh, John Williams' name, his profile in the small booklet. So it must have some type of spiritual connection there, I would say. Very good. There are the men who made it to freedom, Per Bergsland, Jens Muller and Bram van der Stock. Okay. So it's very, very nice down here today. The light is fantastic, perfect for making this video. And I'll just pan the camera around here in the area here. That was where what Hut 104 was, just in this area here in accordance with the entrance here right there the Harry entrance and I'll just bring the camera back up show you the forest oh, the sun's there and the lens a little bit there right there okay. that So, I'll just give you a view there, there's the tablets there, might be a good view here if I stand on top of these wooden piles, well, that's quite a nice view there, nice variable conditions here with the sun and the, the shade. Uh, well, I'm pleased to have completed the names, you know, get them painted before the end of the year. I mean, this is probably the last day, the 23rd of November, 22nd of November, sorry. Uh, I got them done on the 20th, so I would say I'm very close to the line of just finishing the painting because it's... Uh, it's uh, it gets a bit cold and it's going the weather is going to change very soon so it would have got too cold to paint. There we go, just give you another shot there. Great Escapers, 24th, 25th of March, 1944. And uh, another one there, the Spitfire with a bit of sunlight on it. Looks good for the Spitfire, a bit of sunlight there. That's very nice. Very, very 
you get. That model, in fact, comes as a collection of 24 models. It's called Fighters of World War II. It's made of uh, metal and it's got a plastic base. It's very, very simple to assemble. You know, you just plug in the parts there, the propeller and the wheels. And it's really quite a nice little model. It's it's just the right size. Excellent, really. Okay, well, I'll just sign off now. And I'm very happy to have completed the name painting down here. There's the Polish names again. I should show a bit of respect towards the Polish people, as I am in Poland right here. Uh, Tobolski, the man who went as dressed as a, a German, that, that you may have seen in the... Great Escape movie and Bernard Scheidhauer, Roger Bushel, very famous name right there, Roger Bushel. Okay, and Dennis Cochran, he was a man who really did a good job. He nearly made it, but not quite. He got caught just crossing the border at. Um, was it now? Uh, Saarbrücken, I think. Yeah, and but he did a very, very good job. He 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 went cross country and uh, he actually got a job as a street sweeper. And uh, but he got caught in the end because the Germans got onto all the paperwork and uh, his paperwork didn't match, and that was that. John, uh, Tom Kirby Green, it's quite interesting because on the night at about 3 o'clock in the morning there was a major fall in the tunnel which is just back up, there's a gap in the tunnel which you've seen when I came came over with the camera and um, he, uh, they had to shore it up, uh, Birklin shored up the tunnel and took over an hour or so to do that and then they got the operation underway again so that was, a, that wasn't too good for him Okay, there's the Kiwis again, South Africans, okay, so I'll just cruise along here, look at the names, back down to the classic Spitfire, which everybody likes I'm sure, Skaters, Spitfire 1944, spot on. Okay, Winter, John Williams, Reginald Kerith, Albert Hake, James Katana, Thomas Lee, James Wernham, the, the spirit of James Wernham in the cloud that I showed you in the video, Great Escape Cloud, James Wernham, that's worth having a look at. And there's the man who ultimately made it to freedom. Perbergsland, Jens Muller, and Bram van der Stock. Okay. And there's the entrance there. Tunnel Harry, entrance. Okay. So I'll just put the camera on the tripod now and sign off. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video down here today at Stalagluf 3, Tunnel Harry, showing you the names which I have repainted over a two-week period. It's turned out very, very good, excellent, and uh, I will continue doing this good work in the future. Um, you know, as I see fit, I will continue doing this good work, and... Uh, so it reflects, makes a good reflection for the great escape. Okay, well soon I'll make another video with uh, model Timby down at the exit. Uh, and I'm sure you will like that. That's a very, very nice model. And uh, you'll be able to see the, the nice model, model Timby. Okay, well thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.